I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry to uh, intrude so, so early on you, but I was uh, wondering if you would like to uh, see some changes around here. Oh, okay. You want to do it right now? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. I mean, if you would uh, prefer to do it later, that's fine. No, we can do it now. I don't give a shit. Let's do it right now. All right, all right. Well, let, let's start out with the small things, and we'll work our way up, shall we? Sounds good so to if me. If you'll follow me a moment. <clears throat> Hello? You'll notice we got your new portrait here. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Fuck yeah. Yes, looking good, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I do look fucking good, don't I? Yes, you do. You look rather dashing. Hell yeah. All right, carrying on then. So you'll notice here that the office, we've uh, added some locks to the doors here. So it, Oh, it about is, time. Hell yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's unlocked by default, you know. But, great, uh, great. Yeah, you can lock it now. Sweet. Also, I did take the liberty of uh, actually a trap door. moving your items into a more fitting storage box there for you. Uh, oh, shit. Yes, yes. No, no more... Wicker basket. I like it. Thank you. Hell yeah. Fucking All right. Is my and, uh, oh, yeah, yes, wow. it's uh, yes, I did do my best to put things back exactly as I found them, and it's it's this the the same scenario with the uh, the other storage. Okay. Okay. Can you remove this uh this fat ass bear on my desk? Unfortunately, <laughs> I I just I don't have. The power to do it myself. I don't. I don't know who does. Gotta be fucking kidding. It's like who, whoever put that down there. They use like some some glue or something. I don't know. It's really. It's really, really stuck on there. D I C. Oh, these motherfuckers got that. Put that there. Where are we going now? Are we going downstairs? Yes, we'll go down to the garage. Hell yeah. <sighs> the guy is Darko, the guy who does all the 3D shit for, for the house. Here we go, boys. Yeah, let me make sure it's all, all right, clear. Let me make sure here. it's all clear. Hold on. Oh, who's fuck? Who's fucking moped is this? Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's mine. oh, that's yours. Okay, perfect, perfect. <laughs> All right, let's uh. Carry on here. So where are we going? Up on the back. Okay. Oh, I can tell you're excited based off of uh, the poking sensation in my back. Uh, not me, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so this is a little tricky to close from the inside. Okay. We just have to kind of grab it from this corner and look up. We got you. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Holy shit.
Oh my god. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so if you stand in front of uh, this suit here, you can uh, change your outfit here. Really? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that's badass. Yes, yeah, spared no expense in this project. I see you found the uh, ancient, rare, never before seen in a long time uh, war headband here. Yes, indeed. <laughs> that was a fucking long time ago. Strange fucking times. Indeed, sir. I don't know yes, how the have. fuck you do all this shit, Alfred, but this is just unbelievable. Well, I'm more of a overseer of the project, really. I'm not the one who does the actual hands-on work. But yeah, right, I, right. I, I make sure everything goes accordingly. This is fucking great. Yes, this platform, it, 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 it combines state-of-the-art technologies as well as old analog ones. So this platform, it, it taps into the geothermals deep underground. So that is how we're able to get this place heated. Jesus, I can't believe this. You guys actually, this surpassed my expectations. You even have a fucking, we even have a fucking waterfall under the fucking house? Jesus. Yes, when we were doing uh, construction early into the, the manor construction, we uh, did some seismic scans and realized that there was large underground cavern below the manor. Hell yeah. This fucking these we, they got some tunnels that take me out of this fucking shithole island when it all crumbles down, you know, and I escape, and never come back. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, it's quite the command center. Holy shit! Got your CD-ROM here. Oh my god! Is that my DeLorean? Yes, the one and only. Holy shit! Okay, that is fucking sick. Time Lord. Okay, okay. I was not expecting that. That is very cool. Holy shit. Yes, you know, and from here you can, uh, you know, initiate your hacker man's uh, programs. Yes, if this CD-ROM drive is bothering you, you can always put it away like that. Oh, my God. This is you know, unreal. Give a, give a quick... Uh, Flex of the E. There you go. Boom. I could put my fucking Eminem uh, CD I burned years ago onto the air and just fucking blast that shit in the cave, you know? Yes. Well, speaking of blasting shit in the cave, I think so. Currently, there isn't any, uh, well, how to say, soundproofing, but I, I believe so long as you're not yelling down here, it is deep down enough that you should not be heard. Understood. But yes, it is definitely one thing to keep in mind while you're down here. Dude, that's, I love this Easter egg here. That's so sick. This is unreal. This is fucking un. So we do have a, a functional elevator there. However, the, the, uh, fucking moped. the conference room that was planned for the, in the middle of the platform is still uh, under construction at the moment so the door is sealed down there but the elevator will work but one thing i should really point out is that, yeah it i believe it will only support the weight of uh, one person though oh shit you mind if i try it so yes go ahead so if you go in there and then uh, try your key fob oh my god oh my god <laughs> what the fuck Holy shit. Is this like the, f this gotta be the first working elevator ever in the city, right? Yes, I do believe wow, so. Wow, that is unreal. So w one thing I should mention though, um, with this, is, like I said, it doesn't have, uh, it can only carry so much weight. Gotcha. So, and then also if, 
if you were to accidentally, uh, you know, send it up while you're down there, it is possible to retrieve it from either end. It's just a little finicky. You might have to, uh, you know, look around a little bit to find yeah, the I'm sweet spot. Yeah, picking up what you're putting down. But uh, I think uh, we were going to put in a contingency. So, you know, the elevator control up in the uh, kitchen there, we'll put something like that similar just as a contingency in case, you know, it, uh, the elevator smart. were to fail you in some way. That's smart. I like that. God, never showed so, yes, yeah, I'm sure as you could see uh, while you were down there that things are set up and ready to go for a little expansion. Yeah, there, I do but the doors see that. Are I sealed fucking like now. that. I fucking like that, Alfred. You're a smart motherfucker. Indeed, yes. We do try to think things through as best we can. Yeah, no, this is this this has blown my fucking mind past ex expectations. Did not yes, think it would do. literally that be that like is the goal. fucking bad cave. Unreal, unreal. Unfucking real. Oh, not to worry. It's just a rental. Well, I suppose uh, there's a little more to see. Really? All right, let's check it out. All right, so the thing is, uh, you know, let's say you drive down here with your vehicle and you want a discreet way out without having to go back out through the garage. There is a secret exit tunnel this way. No way. Oh my God. All right, so before we proceed, there's a few things I'll uh, explain here. Okay. So you notice there's this uh, laser beam here, right? Yeah. It's also used in uh, combination with uh, motion detection and sensors so that basically the moment we cross that line, that door over there will open. Oh no way. There is... There is there is a little trick to it, though, however. If we stick very close to the left side, we can walk right up to it without it opening. Left side? Okay. Okay. So one thing to keep in mind is that uh, there is a lock on this door, but it's unlocked by default. So let's just say you wanted to have a quick peek out here, or if, I don't know, for whatever reason you wanted to lock it shut. You, you can do so, as you would a normal garage door, by creeping up on the left side here. But it's set up so that you don't need to mess around with a lock so that you can just drive straight out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. That's and, fucking and, crazy. Yes, and this door is specially set up so that it will only open from this side, and that's why it doesn't need a lock. Damn, Alfred, you really stepped your shit out. Your, your team, they really stepped their shit out. This is crazy. Yes, we did. A considerable amount of research and development was put into this project. God damn. So what do you say? Should we try it? <laughs> Fuck yeah, we should try it. All right, let's do it, my man. So, I mean, you may want to exercise some caution when going out here, but really the, the chances of someone seeing you coming out of here, it's really such a brief window that the likelihood is very low. Gotcha. We got to back it up. We got to right. get some speed for this. Well, honestly, it's, making the jump is typically more successful if you don't go too fast. Also, you'll notice that there's some tire marks on the, the ground there, and they kind of curve a little bit to the left. They kind of help act as a guide, if you will, because if you gotcha. run it too hard and you go straight out, you're going to hit the wall of the uh, opposing neighbor there. Understood. Anyways, let's let's give it, give it a go. Oh my god! Yes, yeah, you see what I mean. <laughs> That's no way you fucking did that. Oh my god, that is just unfucking real, Alfred. Yeah, that is no unfucking real. The wiser looking at that, right? That is unfucking real.
Yeah, so one thing you should note, I mean, if we were to look at that door now, uh, like closely inspect it, it may appear to be not fully closed. Gotcha. But that is just the way uh, garage doors work in this city. It's sort of a, you know, in your eyes only sort of thing. You know what I mean? So I gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. Else would, yes, yes. Oh, nice. I got it easy that time. All right. Now, let's say uh, you wanted to uh, come back out this way, but clearly we can't see through the wall here. So if we wanted to check to make sure that the coast was clear, we can go through here. Oh, my God. And if you, you climb up on the this box here, <laughs> you, you can have a peek out through the vent. <laughs> Alfred, you're a fucking genius. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's still a little bit of a blind spot in the the far corner that you that you will be need to be mindful of. You're a fucking. So genius. let's say you know we need to make a discreet uh, exit, and we don't want to take the uh, tunnel exit we just went through with the vehicle. Uh huh. We can uh, make our way out this way after you, sir. Oh my god, it leads into the fucking torture room. Or the jail. I don't know what this is yet. Hell yeah. This so is crazy. This this door here, it can only open from one side, but you should still probably lock it behind you because, you know, you can kind gotcha. of nudge it around. I, I see, yeah, I, I think see. The spot to lock it is over here, I think. Got there it. There you go, you've got it. Alfred, this is unreal. This is absolutely unreal. Yes, well, it pleases me to know you are so happy with it. Yeah, this is unreal. Jesus, fuck. Oh, my God. You've, you're insane. Dude, Darko has gotten so, like, so good at, uh, it's not even the designing. It's just the, the actual I mechanical like aspects can, of shit. Uh, Take a vehicle down there, or you can borrow my uh, Vespa if you like. Oh, no, I'm definitely taking the DeLorean down there. All right, let's do it. Yes, I it, would be, it would be nice to see how it looks down there, right? Please tell me it's... Oh, I don't have it here. Fuck! Here, give me the keys to this. I'll go grab it. I'll be right back. You get that? Yeah, I got it. I'll be right back. I'll be fast. All right. No worries. No hurry. Darko is insane, guys. Make sure to show him some love, man. Uh, You know, got a lot of projects in the works with Darko, man, for the manor. And he's uh, he's unreal. He's, he's got he's not, not that he was ever bad before, but it's it's crazy from where he started to where he's at now on making shit. Got so like, like I said, it's not even the designing. Ah, fucking asshole! What are you doing, man? Come on, Tom. You're on a fucking drive. <laughs> It's not even the designing part, it's just the functionality of shit is crazy. Like making an elevator actually work 